it, I mean, it is scary going back. I feel for the kids, I feel for the teachers. Um, you know, when a book falls, they're gonna jump. Like, you know, they're gonna think it's something. An emotional first day back for students and staff at Mount Tabor High School since a deadly school shooting. 15 year old William Miller Jr. was killed during the shooting and a suspect was taken into custody. Now, nearly a week later, students, staff and the community are focusing on healing and unity. WFNY News 2's Avery Powell is live at Mount Tabor High School. Now, Avery, you spoke with parents about sending their children back to school today. The parents I spoke with were expectedly nervous about sending their children back to the classroom at Mount Tabor today, but they also tell me the community support has been overwhelming. Take a look at the signs surrounding the school, welcoming them back this morning. After that shooting nearly one week ago left student William Miller Jr. dead. The two mothers I talked with this afternoon tell me they spoke with their children this morning, offering love and support. Mom Dottie Shepard says that support needs to continue. I think that our kids are going to need us more in a month or six weeks. And so I think that it's very important for us as a community to keep that on the forefront. I mean, not that we're dwelling on it, but I think that when people are around, it makes things easier. Parent Mary Beth Barrett was set out a Mount Tabor lawn sign in her yard. She wants the community to know that Mount Tabor is a safe school and that they're proud to be Spartans. I'm not going to say this is a fluke accident. This is obviously an issue in America right now um, and it needs to stop. But Tabor is a safe school and it is a school that supports their kids and thinks of their kids and constantly looking forward and moving forward. Mary Beth says if you're okay with sending your child to the mall, you should be okay with sending them to Mount Tabor. She says they are all, all these parents are ready to help in any way they can. She says she email, even emailed the Forsyth County Sheriff asking him how they can help. She says there is an army of Spartans waiting.